Hello angels, welcome to my wind down evening routine. I love to start off with a shower always to cleanse off any negative energies and vibrations that I may have come across during the day. Next up is my skincare routine. As I'm sure you guys know by now, I really, really cherish and value my skincare routine. I've found that it's so healing mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and even physically. And so I really do take my time with my skincare. And during this time, I'll probably just play some nice relaxing music, as well as just think about the day. I like taking this time to really decompress and just relax my body, my mind, my soul. It really is such an incredible practice doing my skincare with intention and it always leaves me feeling good. I also do a little bit of hair care before I go to bed and I like to just add a scarf as well to keep my braids looking fresh and clean. And then next up is body care and I will really sit and intentionally just moisturize my skin from top to bottom and make sure that every part of my body is moisturized and hydrated. Then I get into something comfortable. Right now I'm wearing the Sleep Recovery Sleepwear set from Cotton On Body. And a big thank you to Cotton On Body for sponsoring this portion of the video. It is so soft and so comfortable. I then like to hydrate my body with warm water, lemon and honey. This really helps to just relax my system as well as just calm my energy down. I really love it. After this, I love to just get onto my mat and just release my body through stretching. So I'll just see and feel what needs to be released, relaxed, and that's just kind of how I'll start off my stretches. So really being so intentional with each movement, taking deep breaths in and out, and also just thanking my body for getting me through the day. I then do some breath work. I really love doing the 478 method for breath work. There are so many different breathing routines that you can do, and this is the one that I am currently loving at the moment. These breath work activities really do help to lower my stress and anxiety levels. I then like to move into a very relaxing and calming meditation. So depending on how I'm feeling or how much time I have in the evening, I may do a five minute one, a 10 minute one, or even a 20 minute one. The 20 minute meditations, the longer meditations are very, very enjoyable for me and I feel have a better effect. I then love to just spend time journaling, just sharing my thoughts, anything that I'm feeling, anything that I wanna get off of my chest, anything that maybe happened throughout the day that I would like to write down so that I can get it out if it was maybe negative, but also if it was positive, writing that down as well because I can then come back to my journal at any time and see how I was feeling or something I experienced on a particular day. Journaling has been so helpful for my emotional health, my mental health as well, and even my spiritual health as I navigate through my spiritual journey. Journaling can seem daunting, especially when you want to start out and you see it spoken about everywhere and by everyone. But honestly, just grab a pen and paper and just start writing. Let whatever flows from your heart go onto that paper and you will start to really enjoy it and find a flow and find a groove that you enjoy that works for you there's no right or wrong way to journal all you need to do is start writing i know that some people really enjoy drawing in their journals and some people like to make vision boards in their journals i really enjoy just writing down whatever is on my heart and giving it a home before the sun sets, I love to just sit outside and sit in silence really. So I will most probably read and catch up on any chapters that I maybe want to go over again. And then I'll really just sit and look at my surroundings and just take it all in. 
the view is so nice from from where I'm sitting and the sky just looks so peaceful and it's so nice because I've been able to witness the most beautiful sunrises and sunsets from this place. But being here really just helps me to decompress as well. And finally, my phone goes straight onto Do Not Disturb. And this is so that I can just remain phone free. I love you guys.